If you're happy and you know we grab the roach. Oh yeah. You go oh my Yo Yo She crazy <gasps> Okay girl okay Let's feed the tarantulas today. I just took three egg crates from the roach bin, the dubia roach bin. So nowadays I just, I'm not gonna hand pick, I used to hand pick roaches from the bin, but now I'm just getting like the eight crates straight up and then straight away feeding the tea. So without any further ado, let's start this feeding video. So I got loaded the teas, I mean the roaches, not the teas. How can you gut load teas? I mean, you gut load them with roaches, but yeah, I got loaded the roaches with some carrot the other day. So they're nice and plump, healthy for the teas. Let's go. We're gonna start off with, don't run in, don't run in, please, 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 please. Yes, with my Pamphobetius antinus. Here you go, sweet. I'm gonna have to open this a little bit. There we go. Let's do this, come on, grab it. Nice. And she goes straight into her burrow over there. Tang. She's about seven inches, really, really big girl. This one's probably gonna go in as soon as I open her enclosure. Yes, I am right. So this is my Pamphobetius antinus. The antinus, I, I, I don't even know, do they have a common name? Let's see if she will like a roach. Hello. Oh, yep, she got it. She got it. Nice, girl. If only you would come out to grab it for us. Oh well, as long as she eats. So usually I will start with all these custom enclosures, but today we're gonna start with the table. This is my Threxopelma prurians, the Peruvian green velvet. There we go, girl. You enjoy that roach. Nice. So these guys are already becoming pretty rare in the country. I have not seen them being sold in ages, so if I can get a mature male, that's gonna be awesome. I don't know why I only bought one back then. Should have bought more. So I think in here is a Lampropelma ni- Oh, okay. Lampropelma nigerimum. Sorry, you guys can't see. She is at the back of the cork barn, but she took it. Ah, yes. Those are her legs. There we go. She's quite big, about seven inches. Okay, this is the Stromatopelma calcietum. If I can just put the roach at the back here. Cause she is like down there, so. Yep, 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 she got it, she got it. Nice, sorry you guys can't see, but she grabbed it. Okay, so this is my Salmopeus erminia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Nice girl, nice, there we go. Man, so happy she's out in the open because usually she is way deep in the burrow. Yeah, we call them arboreals. She's only arboreal like right now. Usually she's a freaking terrestrial. Yeah, she comes out. Let's go, girl. Look at that. So that's why they call them the sun tiger tarantula. Look at that. Tiger abdomen, tiger legs. So freaking cool. Next up, we have the OBT, the orange baboon tarantula. Dang it, it wasn't focused when the takedown, but... Oh, she got it. It's okay, it's okay. We've got another one right beside her. I'll make sure it's focused. Focus first. Focus and... Ooh. Okay, maybe she's in pre-mode. Are you not hungry, girl? For a beautiful roach? Here you go. No, when an OBT is like this, they're probably in primo. I'm so sorry, guys. So, so sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We've got so many more tarantulas to feed. I will make sure that it's focused. I'm not sure if this girl is pregnant, but she's quite plump. This is my Somopoyas Cambridge, the Trinidad Chevron. Please don't tell me she's in primo. Come on. There we go. There we go. Nice girl. You're not in primo. So I'm guessing she is gravid. Hell yeah, but still, fingers crossed. Cause you never know, these tarantulas can be super hungry, and then the next thing you see, they molt. And then, there goes the pairing, all a waste. This is a Caribana versicolor, the Antilles Pinto. Nice girl, nice, that's awesome. <laughs> wow, let go of my tongs, there we go. Look at those nice, beautiful green carapace, which is also known as the head. Super cool looking tarantulas. Here's a Millotherophosa apophysis. Oh, whoa. Okay, where's the roach? Got the roach. The roach ran away, bro. What the heck? No. No, what are you? Oh my gosh, go chase the roach down, man. 
the hell? Will you come out to eat? Will you come out to eat? Here, here, get a roach. Yep, she got it. That's my Aphobopus watermine. Can you see way in there? That's my blue fang tarantula. The Aphobopus cyanognathus. And she got it! She got it! Nice! Sorry it's not focused because it's in the hole, but it is what it is. This is a male Formictopus atricomatus, and the roach is being a pain in the butt. There we go. Here, do you not want this? Bro, oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? Just walked away and then turned back and like wham! That was crazy. This is a big male Pamphobetius antinus. See if you'll... Oh nice, there we go. There we go, sorry he's in the burrow, so we can't really see him. And in here is a big male Pamphobetius mascara. Oh my gosh! Chill out, bro! That's crazy, man. You gotta learn how to chill. Oh! I'm afraid this one may run out, so I'm just gonna drop the roach in. See what it... There we go. So that is my Lesiodora striatopes. The Bahia Grey Bird Eater. This is another striatopes. Do you want it? There we go. Good girl. Good girl. This one too, I'm afraid, may run. Here you go. There we go. That's my Lassiodora Kluge, the Bahia Scarlet. Oh man, look at her. She is huge. I think she's about seven inches. Well, 6.5 maybe, but that is pretty darn cool. So this is her enclosure. There's a height, but she doesn't decide to use it. She decides to just go up here. Ungrateful. Lassiodora parahibana. Parahibana, whatever you want to call it. There we go. <laughs> nice. This girl I got as a sling. Also, the Kluge previous I also got as a sling. And they're nice and big and majestic. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so freaking cool. Gotta love your tarantulas. Now we're gonna move on down to my big girl LP over here. Oh, she's about seven, eight inches. Gonna find her the biggest roach. I think this one's big enough. Hey, where'd you go? She ran away. I think, hmm. Oh yes, this one is big. Now at her size, I would think she deserves more than one, but I mean, one should be good enough. Yeah, look how big she is, yo. That is scary. That is scary. Man, you don't want to mess with this girl. If she bites you, you are. <laughs> you are. That, that would be it. What a gorgeous beast. Can you imagine these guys get about 10 inches and she is only like 70% there. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Look at the brutalness in that. Oh. Man, sucks to be a roach. Hungry? Yes. There we go. Nice. Terranopelma sesimi, the Brazilian blue. Not sure why it's not really blue anymore. Maybe it's old? I don't know. Man, like almost every tarantula I fed has taken a roach. That's awesome. Because usually I will skip and not include in the video for those who don't take. But so far, a lot of them are taking. Man, look at that mold over there. Because hmm. this is a Kilobrachis enclosure and it's damp and... I hate that. But yeah, if you're happy and you know, we grab the roach. Oh yeah, there we go. You happy girl. You very, very happy. Oh, uh, how am I gonna get rid of these random mold? Doesn't seem to affect her, but I just, I just don't like it. You gonna grab it? Yeah, hell yeah. Sorry, it's not focused, but dude, 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 incoming! Go for it, go for it! Come on, man! Come on, man! Let's go! Let's go! This is my Akentoscoria chakwana, by the way, and this is why I hate dubias, man. They just freaking play dead all of the time. Come on, dubia! Yeah, what a gentle takedown! <laughs> what a gentle takedown, man! Wow! Look at her. Look at her. Nice. Man, she's a bit thick, but it's okay. As long as she's healthy. This is my Selenia Cos Selena Cosmia Javanensis. There you go, girl. 
<laughs> I think if I'm not mistaken, this is the orange orange. It's a different color form of Javanensis. But yeah, nonetheless, very, very beautiful. This is another OBT. You go, oh my. Yo. Yo. She crazy. <gasps> okay, girl. Okay, okay. I will not disturb you anymore. Man, she is not happy. Man, I gave you food. You hate me. What the heck? Hello, fellow tarantula. This is your feeder speaking. Please take the rot and I will be very, very happy with you. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's my grandma Stola. Full crop, Brazilian black. Nice. She was just laying there with a yoga position and whack as soon as the roach hit the ground. Who wanna place a bet that this won't eat? Hmm. See? Uh, sorry, I had to feed this one off camera cause she's on the glass and I needed two hands to open this. Here's a Grandma Stola Porteri. Porteri. Nice girl. Come on, grab it. You got it. You got it. Yeah! Good job, girl. Hell yeah. <laughs> so cool. Gramostola Porteri. And now we've got a Gramostola Polka piece, the Choco Golden There we go. Beautiful. This one webs up a lot, whereas the others, not so much. Are you not hungry, girl? You're not hungry at all? Come on. You know you want the roach. Seriously? Come on. Come on. Ah, what the heck? Man, if you don't want your roach, hmm, I'll grab it away. And the funny thing is, this roach thought that she would be safe by going in that water dish. Well, little did she know, we've got a hungry pulchra over here. Wow. Cool. Cool, super gentle. You gentle girl. You're a gentle girl. Yeah, you hear the crunch? Ooh. So freaking cool. This is an Aphonopelma uh, simani. Wow, wow. She was just waiting patiently for the food. Yep, Costa Rican zebra. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so freaking nice and satisfying, man. Ooh. Beautiful. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. There we go. That's the Acanthus curia geniculata. The white knee tarantula. And this is another white knee tarantula. Here you go. Whoa. You got it? You got it? Sorry guys, I'm not gonna open this whole thing when I'm feeding the genics because you guys know what happened before and I'm not looking forward for that to happen again. This one's gonna be good. This is my Nandu Tripappy. Man, she usually gives us aggressive takedowns, but whatever, as long as she eats, right? As long as she eats. Nandu Carapoensis. Yeah, just a small one for you, cause yep. You know why. Okay guys, this is my female Formictopus oratus. There you go. There we go. There's some encouragement over there. You don't want to catch your own roach? Come on, see? Got loaded with carrots. Very, very healthy roaches. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it? Oh yes! No! No, you, you didn't grab it. No, no, almost, almost. Come on, you got it. Come on, no, no. Come on, you got this. You got this. Come on, come on. No, no, no. What are you doing? Freaking roach. Come here, come here, come here. Here, right here. There we go. Nice girl, nice girl. You got it. Yes. Good. Girl, man, she's doing so much better now. I'm so happy. Oh man, good girl. I really hope the next molt she recovers and I don't know, just, just go through a good molt. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will not disturb you. Hey, Kentus Korea, Janiki. Oof, oof, Janiki Damn. 
Dang. Nice one, girl. Give me a little bit of a jump scare there. Typical Gen X. Hello. There you go. Just dropped it over there. Because this girl, she is pretty crazy at times, so I'm not gonna take chances. There she goes. This is one crazy looking enclosure. Look at all the webbing. But yeah, this is the Monocentropus. Whoa. Monocentropus Balfouri. The Socotra Island Blue Baboon. There you go, girl. Sorry, you guys can't see, but there she is. Beautiful. Just beside this one, we have another crazy looking Monocentropus Balfouri. Yep, they are such heavy webbers. She's in there. There you go. There we go. Did you grab it? No? Oh, no idea what's happening. But I think she should grab it. It's right at the back. This Balfouri isn't too crazy as well as this one. You see, I, I rehouse all of them on the same day. And look at this one and look at this one. And look at those two. Two, not two. Two. Can't speak. But yeah. Anyways, here's another Balfouri. There you go. There you go. So yeah. Different tarantulas, different personality, even if they're the same species. Another one that's not too heavy Weber, not too much of a heavy Weber. There you go. There we go. You grab it. No. There we go. No, you just bit it. You just, what? What? What is happening, man? What is happening? I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. Here's a Ceratogyrus marshalli. Nice. Either the straight horn baboon or the great horn baboon. Or why not just the, the straight great horn baboon? Whatever. But yeah, Ceratogyrus marshalli. This is the king, or should I say queen baboon. Yep, she got it. Nice. Yeah, it's not focused. Typical. But she got it. She got it. Beautiful. Ah, uh, hello, girl. I think this girl's really old. But yeah, this is my Ornithoctonus species Uthaitani. Wow. Wow. But yeah, she's old because I got her back in like 2016 at this big size. I think she only molted with me once, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe she did it in the burrow before. But yeah, I got her as an adult female in 2016 and she's still going strong. And she's been in the same enclosure since. So yeah, you guys count how many years. Hello. Hey, there you go. There you go. Did she grab it? I think she did. That's the Eupalastrus campostratus. And this is another campostratus. There you go. <laughs> I think this is her first ever adult dubia. Yep. Looks like she took it down, no issues. I'm so proud of my Senestis girl. Man, look at where she amputated her leg. Here and there. Man, it looks so weird. The posture looks weird, but yeah, at least she took the roach. I'm so happy and proud of her. So guys, that will be it for today's feeding video. Actually, most of my adult tarantulas ate, which I'm really, really happy about. Quite a few of them didn't eat as well, but majority of them ate for us, which I'm super happy about. I really, really love this feeding video. This, yes, the Apophysis male, he found his roach. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and have an awesome one. Peace. Ouch. Ouch.